Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 2 of To Love Rue Darkness and oh, the second season. Gotta remind that. But overall, um, pretty much this episode, the first half, it was, you know, another of Lala's inventions gone wrong turns um, Rito into uh, a mouse. So at first I was going to say a hamster because he does look like he is a hamster. But they turn him into a mouse and pretty much it's just, you know, the normal, etchy kind of stuff that goes on all the time with Rito. Him running around, running to all the girls, running to moments with them nude, running into that moment when <laughs> with Haruna and um, Yui scissoring each other, and he's, like, right in between. It's like, what the heck, you know? But, um, yeah, you know, the normal stuff. <laughs> but overall, it, it, that part was completely, like, the first half was just funny and just, like, full of etchiness and just like it was like oh man this is why i love to to love her you know um the second half was actually more it was definitely focused on um maya um she pretty much is kind of lost right now because you know her master nemesis left and this is the longest she has ever left mia mia um like ever before and throughout this episode she's feeling lost confused doesn't know what she should do if she should do this and like it isn't till like the end when all of a sudden these three guys come out of nowhere Rito tries to explain it to her because then he um there's of course more etching moments with between them too and he feels what she feels because she connects them and he feels that she's feeling lonely and st- kind of like you know yeah she's like alone and scary kind of thing doesn't know what to do and that's when these three guys come to fight her and it turns out nemesis sent them after her to which at first i thought she was gonna be like oh my gosh she wants to kill me kind of thing but it's actually she thinks that it's like to kind of you know because she's confused right now so maybe nemesis knows that and she's trying to make it so you know make her remember that she is a weapon not like not someone you know, a human on earth she is a weapon to fight things and everything and it isn't until the very end that we get to see that cliffhanger with her seeing um, Nana and she's just like, oh no, you know, because like finally she's realizing, oh my gosh, what am I doing? She sees me like this now. What is she going to think? All that kind of stuff, you know. So that was pretty much the episode. First half was funny. Second half was more serious, yet still having the etchy feel of everything because that is too lovely, you know. But overall, um... Like I said, I loved the first half. It was completely funny and stupid. The normal to love Rue, you know, experience with the etchiness going on and Lala's crazy inventions. Making Rito's life, well, to him, horrible, a living hell. To me, I say paradise, and he's just plain lucky. Like, come on, dude. <sighs> but, yeah, overall, um, the Maya part was pretty much, it was definitely more serious. You could see, like... I liked it. You get to see more of the serious side and see, like, kind of, like, her feeling, you know, Rito's trying to help her out and everything because she, obviously, she feels alone, scared. Without Nemesis, she's lost. And then all of a sudden, you get this conflict of her um, thinking she's a weapon. That's what Nemesis is trying to make her be, you know, know that she is a weapon. But then the only thing kind of grounding her down is Nana. And when she sees her, that's when everything's like, oh, crap things are start gonna start to go down because now she knows you know so yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say about the episode i can't wait to see the next episode to see what's gonna happen the confrontation what nana is gonna say what mia is gonna do honestly don't know i don't have a clue and of course you know can't wait to see more of the etchiness going on and as i said in the last the last episode um of course you know it the censorship is just pretty dang crazy just the lighting, the, you know, crazy light out of nowhere. It's like, oh, man, it ruins a portion of it. It's still good, obviously, but you know what I mean. So it's just like, ah, can't, gotta wait till the Blu-ray probably for it to have the uncensored version. But overall, still with the censored version, still good. But without it, it would have been awesome, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, overall, I can't wait to see the next episode. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom discussion and review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And till next time, guys. See ya.